Hey everybody, I am Brady Briggs. Welcome to another episode of the Combat Logic. What's up, guys? I just want to go over tonight's main event. Um, I really should have done this a couple days prior, but it's better late than never, as I always say. And, um, yeah, dude, and this is such a great fight that really all of you should be watching, whether you know who these two are or not. First off, if you're a real fan, you should definitely know who these two are. Um, you should have seen Armin Sar, you can fight six times, 5-1 in the UFC. You should have seen Gamrot fight four times. He's 3-1 in the UFC. So... We'll start with Armin Saryukin because he's been around a little longer. He came to the UFC with a record of 13-1, and one, okay? To debut against Islam Makhachev, of all people, the number one ranked lightweight contender in the world. Well, actually, I guess he's number two because Charles Oliveira isn't technically the champion. Nonetheless, he took Islam Don once, and he won a round against Islam, okay? This was his UFC debut, and we all knew how good Islam was at this point. Okay, he followed this up with five straight wins. First off, he became quite a decision machine. Okay, being Olivier Aubin Mercier, who has gone 4 0 in PFL since his UFC departure. Um, Davy Hamosh, who's a multi time world jiu jitsu champion. Matt Frivola, who, though he's had a bit of a rough patch in the UFC, he's had some good wins there and he's a very, very solid talent. Um, he's got a pretty bright future, I believe. And then he capped this off with back to back knockout victories, TKO victories over Christos Giagos and Joel Alvarez. Going into the Joel Alvarez fight, they were both 4-1 and one in the UFC. Saryukin was 17-2 and two as a pro. Alvarez was 19-2 and two as a pro with all 19 wins coming by finish, okay? Um, 16 submissions. Saryukin fought him pretty much entirely on the ground and beat the living fuck out of him. It was one of the bloodier fights of 2022 so far. All right. Then we got Matias Gamera who is 20 and one. All right. He came to the UFC with a record of 17 and 0. He lost his debut to Guram Kutataladze by split decision in a fight. Pretty much all of us thought he won. Like he probably should be 21 and 0, to be honest with you. Um, nonetheless, he followed this up with three straight wins, three straight finishes, a KO over Scott Holzman, a submission, a 65-second submission over Jeremy Stevens. He commurred him, which was incredibly impressive, even though Stevens isn't what he used to be. We haven't seen anybody do that to Stevens in just one minute. That was very impressive. And then he finished this up by TKOing Carlos Diego Fajaya in December of last year. So what we really need to know about these two, they could both, be they could both be future UFC champions okay and I do predict them both to at least fight for the belt all right it's 18-2 versus 20-1 and one. they were both champions prior to coming over to the UFC Armin Saryukin won and defended the FEMFP lightweight championship he won it defended it once prior to coming over and Matias Gamera is a KSW champ champ. He won the KSW lightweight championship, defended it three times, then went down to featherweight, won that KSW championship, and then he defended his lightweight title again prior to coming over. He's gone five rounds a number of times, whereas Saryukin hasn't ever gone five rounds before. But he hasn't shown us any cardio issues yet. So Armin Saryukin, his wrestling is just pretty much second to none like his wrestling is seriously so fucking good he's a master of sport in mma and he's a master of sport in freestyle wrestling and his stand-up is pretty good too he's got a lot of kicks that he likes to use to keep his distance and you know he's just he's a very well-rounded talent whereas Matias gamera is probably equally as good of a wrestler to be honest with you um that low single leg that he likes to shoot on that luke thomas was or no dan hardy dan hardy broke it down he used it against Scott Holzman. He used it against Jeremy Stevens. He's very effective with it because it's been very hard for his opponents to defend it. Um, and then you got a stand-up where he is an absolute assassin too. Gamrot has placed in ADCC European Championships in the submission wrestling category four times. He won it twice. He came in second once and he came in third once, which is pretty impressive. Even though it's not a world championship, 
dude. There's a lot of really good grapplers in Europe. He's got a number of grappling championships outside of that. He's got a number of wrestling championships outside of that. He's a very successful amateur mixed martial artist. Like, man, dude, these guys are both so dominant. And honestly, I can't believe the UFC paired these two in a main event against one another because they are both quite unknown. But, dude, this is a perfect coming all party for both of them. I have no idea how this is going to go. Like, dude, Armin Saryukin lost his second fight. He got KO'd in his second fight, okay? And then pretty much since then, he's gone 17-1, and one, only losing to Islam Makachev in a fight that he looked pretty good in, in his UFC debut, nonetheless, okay? He beat a couple UFC veterans en route to coming to the UFC, as did Gamrot. And yeah, man, this is going to be such a wicked fight. So I hope you all tune in for it and let me know what you think of it. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Have a good one.